Hey, what's up guys? It's Toast with Toasty Tabletop Games. Today I've got a Pokemon Go uh, Elite Trainer box and we're just gonna jump into it. So you get all this open. I kind of started at the, uh, the corner at least so I can just kind of tear it open and just kind of jump into the video. But um, yeah, I haven't seen the ETB for this yet and I don't really know what's in it though. I, I kind of have an idea what would be in it just due to the fact that, um, you know, they're all kind of made the same. So we have a, uh, all, all of them come with like a little player's guide thing. Uh, comes with like a little code for Pokemon Go with a bunch of stuff on the back, which I'm gonna set to the side, uh, just for me. And this, actually, interesting, because they printed these, uh, these books a little differently. It's like a different kind of paper. That's interesting. Well, anyway, uh, in these, it's kind of like a how to play, tells you some in basic information. Um, and then there's a list of all the cards in the set, which is always really cool, so. Uh, there is our shining stuff. I need to really want to focus on getting that there. Hopefully we get it in this box. Um, there's actually not too, too, too many things in this set. It looks like there's only just done, like just under a hundred. Yeah, just under, there's like 80 something different cards in it. 88. So hopefully we can actually fill out like, I guess fill out the Pokedex and like air quotations. <laughs> you know, um, get everything that there is to offer in this set, which I can't imagine would be very hard considering it's, um, <clears throat> considering its size. But the rarity is where that issue, uh, becomes an issue, so. I'll settle this stuff down to the side. We'll go over the contents of this. Um, kind of typical. We got our eight packs of, uh, of the set stuff, right? So that's always fun. This is the big bill red bread butter. We got these little uh, poison burn tokens that they always come with. Um, some dice, always super fun since I use those dice all the time. A V-Star token. Got like a million of those now. It's kind of nice to include them. Got some dividers featuring Mewtwo. Pretty cool. Uh, a pack of energies, which are obviously really boring, so I'm not gonna waste your time with it. Um, sleeves, and this one actually comes with a promo card. So I didn't actually know that it did that. So let's check this out. So here's our sleeves featuring Mewtwo. Pretty cool. And we have our promo here of Mewtwo V. Pretty cool there. Does uh, 50 damage for Psychic and uh, anything. And for two psychic and anything, does 160 and moves an energy from this to one of your bench Pokemon. Which is kind of cool. So I guess you could target that. Uh, you could target that with like uh, cards like Xerneas from the Celebration set that kind of just put energies on whatever you like from your deck. Um, Jirachi, for example. And then just kind of just disperse them from there. So that could be kind of interesting. I think the only way that this card could be actually better with that in mind is if this scaled with uh, how many energies were on it. <clears throat> But other than that, this is still a pretty cool promo. Foil etched. I absolutely love Pokemon foils. So we'll set that to the side. We're gonna jump into the packs now. So hopefully we get our Shining Charizard or anything Shining really. I'd, I'd be okay with another Shining Venusaur even if I can't even play it in a deck. Uh, that, you know, since you only play one of those, one Shining <clears throat> Pokemon in a deck. So I've already got one, but I don't know what I'd play it in just yet, even though it's really good. So, all right, anyways, we got P-Dove. Alolan Rattata, Wimpod, Pikachu, Squirtle, Reverse Hollow Bidoof, which is actually a ditto. Uh, really cool there. I'll set that on to the side. We'll come back to that. Uh, Hollow Blastoise, Grass Energy, Soul Rock, Lore Module, and Blanche. I uh, actually did a. showed off the ditto at the end of the last Pokemon Go video, but uh, we'll, we'll do that at the end of this one as well if you missed that one. So second pack. Get the code off the back here. Got a Squirtle, Spinarak, Wimpod, Larvitar, Numal, Reverse Hollow ink Egg Incubator, Hollow Gyarados, pretty cool, Steel Energy, Camera Ups, Egg Incubator, and War Turtle. Yeah, nothing nothing too exciting for that one. Let's talk about that one. Excuse me. Got Alolan Ratata, Spinarak, Pikachu, Wimpod, Pete up again, Reverse Hollow, Alolan Ratata, Hollow Blissey, Water Energy, Pokestop, Lore Module, and Camera Up. You know, actually, one thing I want to see real quick. I need to see this. Wouldn't it have been cool, like, if the Lore Modules, like, did something extra when the Pokest, uh, 
Poke Stop uh, Stadium was in play. Like that could have been pretty. That could have been a really cool little feature. Like interesting enough to play uh, for sure. But I don't know if that would have like really hurt the competitive scene or not. I guess it kind of depends on what it is. Like if it's like search for extra items, then I mean I guess that could be like that could be kind of busted. But uh, you know, just I think that would have been a really cool little nod either way. So we got a Larvitar, a Wolden Ratata, Spinarak, Pikachu, Wimpod, Reverse Hollow Tyranitar, pretty cool. Got a Dragonite V Star. Well, at least it's not a Dragonite V because I've got a bunch of those already. Really cool hollow, uh, reverse, ho not reverse hollow, uh, etched foil there. Really cool. So for for water and electric and two of anything, it does Giga Impact, 250 damage, and they can't attack during the next turn. And then it's V-Star power, so we can do once per game. For one of anything, we look at the top 12 cards and attach any number of water or electric energies you find to your Pokemon in any way you like. And then you shuffle all your other cards back into the deck. So that's pretty cool. Um, I see this being... Like, this could be an alternative to playing, um, like, Jirachi and Xerneas and Zacian in, like, a Blissey Energy deck. This would be a really good way to search out all your energies really fast. Um, I don't know how effective that would be since it's not repeatable, right? You only do it once. And, uh, obviously the effectiveness varies depending on how many you actually hit. So, you'd have to have some other ways to find energies... Uh, otherwise, but I can still see that this being a, a, a really applicable strategy in that kind of deck. So still a pretty cool hit. Psychic Energy, Ivysaur, Spark, and Chansey. Not this Chansey, the, the one Chansey that does damage based on how many energies it has. <laughs> or Blissey, whichever one it is, I can't remember. Don't remember what it said. I, wanna, I, I think it's from Chilling Rain. Whatever one that one is. <laughs> All right. Got Vidoof, <clears throat> Onyx, Bib Barrel, Meltan, Magikarp, Reverse Hollow Spark, Hollow Pikachu, uh, Steel Energy, Area Dose, Egg Incubator, and a Soul Rock. You know, it's interesting because I haven't actually seen um, these packs for sale individually yet. So it makes me wonder if they don't, these only sell in bundles, which is interesting uh, in a sense, you know, like kind of weird i don't think i've ever seen cards really do that so uh we got charmander eevee natu ambipom radicate reverse hollow magikarp there is moltres there hollow pretty cool well let's talk about this one for a sec so uh basic fire pokemon attacks except moltres do 10 uh, 10 more damage to active pokemon pretty cool Okay, so it doesn't stack like, uh, uh, so it doesn't stack on itself. Okay, so yeah, the, for uh, two fire and one of anything, it does 110. Uh, this ability is like, I guess it's kind of cool, but kind of lackluster all at the same time. So, uh, water energy, rare candy, war turtle, and candela. Like the Moltres ability, like 10 damage, I don't think is really enough to make a huge difference. You know, like that could that could be the difference between knocking something out and it living. Uh, but on just basic Pokemon, like that's kind of really rough. You know, it ha it would have to apply. It basically only practically applies to um, V Pokemon and V Star. But even then, that's like that's barely anything. They already do so much damage that ten dump damage doesn't matter. So anyway, moving on. Uh, we got Pikachu, Wimpod, Pidov, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Reverse Hollow Lore Module, Hollow Tyranitar, pretty cool. Dark Energy, Candela, Charmeleon, and a Lore Module. And the last couple packs here. Hopefully we get uh, something else that's pretty cool since we've only got Promo, Ditto, and Dragonite. I, I feel it coming on though in these uh, last couple packs here. So we got Magikarp, Apom, Meltan, Squirtle, Tranquil, Reverse Hollow Slowpoke, Hollow Snorlax, uh, Grass Energy, Soul Rock, Egg Incubator, and Charmeleon. Seen a lot of repeats, though I guess that's to be expected since there's only like 88 cards in this. And there's 10, 10 cards of packs, I and mean, you get like an eighth of the set in an instant. <laughs> so I probably have as many copies of anything that I could need besides the cool things like Shining Pokemon and what have you. Right. Uh, Ambipom, Alolan Eradicate, Larvitar, Alolan Rattata, Spinarak, uh, first Hollow Pikachu, Hollow Gyarados, 
V Star token, which I'm not really interested in. A uh, Unpheasant, Camera Ups, and Steelix. Oops, got caught on my own finger there. All right, final pack. Let's hope we got something cool. Something to make it all worth the while. <laughs> all right. All right, here we go. Got Bulbasaur, Onyx, Bib Barrel, Slowpoke, Bidoof, Reverse Hollow Gyarados. There's a Mel Metal V. Pretty cool. Um, so we got Arm Charge for stu uh, two Steel Energy. You can attach an Energy card from your hand to this Pokemon. That's pretty cool. So for stu uh, two Steel Energy, you basically prep yourself to do Mega Punch next turn. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then Mega Punch is just simply does 140 for three Steel. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's beefy enough to do some damage and has a decent enough effect that sets you up for success there. Uh, we got a Electric Energy, Camera up, Zatu, and Blanche. Okay, so that's kind of it. Nothing, I mean, we got some okay stuff there. I, I'm pretty happy with the Dragonite V, especially since, I mean, especially since I already have so many of them, right? <laughs> so it's applicable. It really is applicable. Anyhow... Let's, uh, let's check out this uh, ditto real quick, and then that'll just be it for us. So, uh, so I'll let me point out how uh, the ditto thing works. So, on the reverse holo cards of Bidoof, um, Slowpoke, and one other Pokemon, which I can't seem to remember right at this moment, there is a little ditto icon here, and if that is there, then you can actually uh, get the top layer of this card off by peeling at the side there. And then underneath it is a holo ditto. So this will be actually this is actually my second one. Both of them have been uh, Bidoof reverse hollows so far. Uh, but these dittos are actually pretty cool because they actually copy pretty much everything about the Pokemon. Uh, and I don't think the ditto has received a, a printing in a little while either. So really cool. But anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, follow me on my socials at Toasted Tabletop Games on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitch. And other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.